Hi and welcome to Violet Connie Art. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on using Medibang Paint to get rid of a uh, background from an art piece so you can upload it to a site like Redbubble. First of all you're going to select new canvas and then you're going to edit that canvas size. So mine's already preset in but I just wanted to show you where to do it. So you press on the drop down for paper size and select A4 and this is just to make sure that the pixel sizes are very small so you've got a better quality image. So then after that you click, click create new canvas and then you want to select a new layer and the layers are over the side and you want to select an image to add to that layer. And then I picked a document from my Google Drive. I actually picked the fairy that I drew for Inktober for Swollen so it's a pregnant fairy and then I just increase the magnification to get it full screen and you can also rotate if you've scanned in your document your document sideways in on this screen and after that you click set and it will go onto the next screen and you don't want to extract your line art for this so click no then you can remove this other layer the blank layer but I just leave it there it's not hurting anything and then up the top you want to select the selection tool, so the square one and the lasso and press the little plus button. And then you want to draw around the inside of your piece, wherever you want to keep your artwork, you do go inside. And I made a little mistake here, so I press the minus and I can go around and delete anything that I want. And you just go around the whole entire outside, uh, deleting and uh, adding pieces that you want to remove and delete for from your artwork. So you can see that I'm a bit finicky around the edges, making sure that I've got all the white spaces. And then I um, did a mistake again, so I'm going to remove it. Um, and I just keep going like that and just keep chipping away at it. I think this whole process for this one was really quite complicated. It was one of the mo more complicated ones that I've had to remove a background from and it took me about an hour. So it is a little time consuming, but the result is really nice afterwards. I also try and just um, go around the inside of the image and block out as much of it as possible. It kind of helps make it look like it's getting done faster. And also when you're chipping away at the edges, you're able to come back to where um, the area is already clear much easier and I'll show you here so I come back around and loop behind that area and so I'm going to speed this up so you can use this for many things um, I guess you don't have to just use it for sites like Redbubble but this is how I've uh, removed backgrounds I've kind of fumbled my way around Medibang Paint. I'm trying to just teach myself what to do. I have looked up a few YouTube videos on how to do certain things, but there's no one cohesive place to find how to use this program such as this. Not that I've found anyway. And I've been thinking about doing a tutorial on how to use this program from a beginner's perspective maybe just doing some line art and drawing and coloring and shading let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in something like that so i'm just finishing up removing the background from this going along the last piece here and then i want to go up to the dotted box and pick inverse selection and then i'm going to cut out the background and this is the satisfying part all that hard work pays off to get your background free image after that I'm going to select the lasso again and just draw around the outside of the image making sure to leave a quite a nice little gap around the outside and then I'm going to click crop and this just crops your image to the right size. After that I'm going to select canvas size and I change it the higher number to about 4000 something. It doesn't really have to be exact and this just makes the pixel size smaller so you can put it have a better quality image and put it on larger items say like on Redbubble's duvet cover. After this I'm going to select export and pick ping transparent and this will save your image with the background removed and um, here is the red, my Redbubble account and I just wanted to show you a few different colored shirts not necessarily going to put it on them but that the background is removed and it will look good on your products and then I kind of just do a little bit of editing make sure that when you are using sites like Redbubble that you edit each image on every product to make sure that it looks really nice 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.